What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Three Colors and Pharaohs Beyond Death draft. Uh, we drafted against the bots. Time to play against the players. We got a chained web dude. We got a, something that deals two damage to anything. We got this guy. Who's crazy? A two for a two three? First of all, that's kind of nuts. Plus, Creature enchantment spells you control can't be countered. That's kind of insane. Uh, this is like the cornerstone of how we're going to be able to play our other spells. Uh, <laughs> Add one mana of any color. Okay. Uh, actually, now that I'm looking at that, how many things do I have that are above four? Okay, I've changed my mind. Instead of this, I want that. Because this will trigger that. Uh, okay, that's actually, that's better. That's just, that's just better, I think. Yeah, I've been tinkering with the curve. Uh, we got two of those. One of this, it's just a haste 2-2. Two -two. Uh, if I attack with a lot of creatures, I can discard and draw some cards. Flying, we're going to put flying on our large creatures. Of which we have plenty. We have this, so this is why we're three colors. We have two islands. We have this, which can tap for any color, and we have this, which can oop, uh, these, which can tap for any color, and we have an omen of the hunt, so we can search for at least one of those islands. So we have a lot of ways to be able to cast this, uh, and we also are kind of top heavy. Here we got we have a, like a lot of five drops, so. Hopefully we'll be able to ramp. Uh, we have these to uh, swing in with whatever big creature we have. Uh, and then fight stuff. Two of those. I think it's pretty good. We got this guy. So this guy also lets us use our lands for every single type. So we have a lot of ways to use our lands. Uh, this guy's good. He also triggers this thing. Um, still, uh, yeah, get, get our stuff. This guy puts one more counters and makes them fly. Uh, alter. You know, gets us mana ramp. This is a 3 4 that you can pump. This lets you steal a creature, uh, and then they have to attack you so you can make good blocks and stuff. And then they're attacking creatures, steal its power to its own toughness, so they kind of kill themselves at the end, too. This thing, I always kill it as soon as I see it because. As soon as they play it, if they play a 5-drop that gets a 1-1 one, one counter on it, it's like, you lost the game already. Uh, it's just a good, solid 4-drop. This guy, uh, if I do end up stealing the creatures, hopefully I can use this to sack them, um, if that's necessary. And then these are good targets for the wings, and giving everything trample is really good for my big dudes. And hopefully this will be played at least once. All right. Let's get into it. I thought about taking the 5 drop exile target creature, but I ended up not taking it. I think 4 colors is maybe too many, but we do have a lot of good ways to play stuff. Let's just hope we don't get... Oh, that's a very sad opening hand. And I'm going first. I'm gonna ball. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> we'll take it. Let's put this back. It goes to the bottom of my library. Do I have, I have ways? Yeah, I have ways of shuffling, so it should be fine. Rip. Hello, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Just pass and hopefully he plays a two drop, then I can kill it. It's a perfect two drop to kill. Thanks. Okay. We'll crack this at the end of his turn. Put a little stop there just in case we forget. Okay, 
Uh, so we could use that to get islands. We have four and we want the fifth mana too, but this will get us our fifth mana. So we probably don't need that. Let's play this. Okay. Just gonna remove my enchantment. Let's just get more big creatures. Like I said, if you don't kill this like immediately and you play something right after, it could be devastating. Now, really hope we get a land. If we don't, we can still use Omen of the Hunt to get a land. That's, that's about as good as it gets, huh? Oh, this is a good play, too, though. That's annoying. I'll probably kill the uh, the collar and take five. I think I'll wait. Yeah, I'm fine waiting here. I'll take some damage in the air. I'd rather, if I'm gonna sack the collar, I'd rather it have trample first. He could have killed the caller. Right? Nope. I was wrong. Okay. So we play this. And now. Do we even attack now? Yeah, we have to. We're at 12. Let's either do something or die. We did get the 6 4 out of it, so we went low. Got. Ooh. I mean, it's good, but tramples. Also very good. Is this an enchantment? No, but that is. Six. Is five open black mana. Oh, he's trying to make me go fast. That's sneaky. Seven drop. Another death noodle. We could crack the uh, omen at the end. We didn't shuffle our deck yet, right? Oh, we did. Okay. So it is possible we could draw the, the thing. Yeah. 
need to skip nut. Excellent. I played a lot of Pharaohs Beyond Death in the past uh, two weeks? Three weeks? I don't know. Time just blends together these days. It's not a set I really uh, not like fond of it or anything. But I mean, you just you gotta play magic sometimes, right? So you play whatever they have available. They get to go first. We have a seven drop, a five drop, a four drop, and a two drop. We have our mana acceleration and we have the colors we need. I would like to draw the land though. Hey, he's doing the same thing. There's a land. Hello! Let's see who can accelerate faster. Oh shit. Drop. I could steal it. Okay, so we gain control. Then they have to attack. We kill its creature. Then we swing in. And then it kills itself. Okay. I hope I do this correctly. I'll probably just accelerate something big. Okay, so we could just trade it with that. Ooh, we could play some big stuff. We could also sack it. If he has tricks. But we won't have mana for it. We do this. So if we draw any land next turn, we can play our method. Else if we play a 5 drop, which is still good. We didn't draw the land we needed, but we can still play a five drop. Let's go with four in the air here. We're doing a lot with free land. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's, let's see. I can't even use the sack. Okay. Well, what does this do? Equip creature at camp, we block this turn. Sacrifice it at the beginning of your next. Sacrifice this, equip creature at camp, we block. Sacrifice. Wait, sacrifice this, 
equipped creature can't be blocked this turn. Sacrifice it. Okay, so they both die. Uh. Uh. Oh no, they won't die. Yeah, let's sacrifice it. Because he was going to kill it anyway. I guess I could have kept the wings. Maybe I should have kept the wings. I'm kind of hoping for just getting a land, but it looks like it's just not happening. I'm glad I could still play five drops. Oh, I did this wrong. Okay. Um. I'll pass. Maybe I should have attacked. Hmm. Up. Okay, so if we attack with three, we can discard and try to draw land. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. We have two, we have four mana, so we could do both these. Okay. I feel like I don't need to do that though. Yeah, I probably should have kept the wings around. I want to use this to get rid of my lands, not like good, good stuff. How do I have three land? This is crazy. I have three land and all these creatures, that's even more crazy. This isn't legendary, is it? Yeah, I can have two of these. <laughs> Where are my land? <laughs> Three. Alright, fuck it. We'll play another one. I mean, if we play them all, then. You know, what do we have to lose? Box one. I just want to play the the sea god. Oh, 
Oh my god. Let's go. We'll swing next turn, don't worry. Tap all non-land permanents. He's got to swing right now. He's got to kill my enchantment saga. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Excellent. I think the ability, like, just stacking the deck with high cost cards. I feel like in draft, like, I don't know, at least in Theros Beyond Death, it feels like it's a really slow format. Unless you get, like, you know, they play one creature, they stack it with 18 auras, and then you're dead because you just didn't have removal for it. But people don't usually go for that risky strat. We're gonna have to mull again. Could hunt for a land, but can literally play none of our cards. Even if we drew a forest, the first thing we can play is something that gets us more land. They'd have a two drop and a three drop out. We'd be at like nine HP. First thing we actually play as a creature, they'd remove. They'd swing in. We'd be at like four. Then we'd play like one five drop. And they'd just go wide. It would be over. We slam this down. So great. What a cool looking kraken. Is there something on his horn? No, that's like a tentacle grasping a fish? Or no, it's a tentacle grasping a small war boat. Is this guy disconnecting? What's happening? There we go. Perfect colors. Uh, I don't, I think it's the enchantment cost three, so we can swing in. Gives a trample? Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, uh, I'll take it. Alright, let's go. Looks like we're going to be stealing their own creature. That's 
not good. Well, that's fine, actually. It's not really something we want to steal. Uh, he's holding back three mana to counter a creature spell? I think it's a cre creature or enchantment spell, I think. Which I have all enchantments and creatures. Let's see if he counters it. Is he missing land? Okay. I mean, I wouldn't even do anything next turn. Drew that. It's unfortunate. Is that all? Yeah, we can still pump him. Dang. Sucks to get mana screwed, but you know. It happens to everybody. If I steal that creature. Deal 10 damage. 12 damage. Yeah. Oh, but it doesn't get to attack this turn. Demol a few times, but even then, our opponents just got unlucky. Hopefully, we get to play our sweet enchantment at least one more time. That would be pretty cool. I'd like to see it its full saga go off. Good one drop. It's the exile, four other cards. It's kind of expensive. But... Oh shit. Okay, let's go.
steal whatever he plays next. Ah, oh, damn. Maybe we wait for him to equip it? No, it gets tax proof, right? Can you control a target creature? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, it's my only play. I'm not, not gonna do it. A forest next turn would be this. Whenever a creature with death touch blocks or becomes blocked. So if he blocks, that he'll be destroyed. I don't understand. Right? Whenever a creature with death touch blocks or becomes blocked by this creature. I don't I don't know. I'm confused. Whatever, let's send it. Let's see what happens. We'll we'll test it with this creature. <laughs> He did. All right. Oh, shit. That was a good play. Three other cards. I need two more in the yard for him. How many is this guy? Four other cards? Could sacrifice this. Let's see, two, four, six. So we're one land away from the sea god. So this is trample. So I'll get him for two. Maybe I do attack with both. 
Yeah, why not? He, he wants to block that. Okay, alright, you can do that. That's annoying. Why did that? Oh, because it's enchanted, it gets invulnerability or some shit? Whatever, I'm about to play a Sea God next turn, guaranteed. Oh, never mind. Not guaranteed. Now I am less sad. didn't let me submit zero. Um, let's make a five, two. Or a four, five. Let's make four, five. So sad. Should have just. Oof. Use this creature to block his snake. Why can I not submit zero? I guess you have to have a creature. Well, I'm about to kill that. Unless he's gonna put the protection on it. I'll kill his 1-1. One, one. <laughs> My sea god. the 7-7. Seven, seven. I need a seven seven. Maybe I should have blocked. No, what does? No, oh, it's too late now. Ah, uh, all right, whatever. We're playing this. Oh, we're so dead.
Especially with the trample. No, we're just dead, I think. Yeah, four, five. Yeah, we're dead. Let's see if he swings with everything. Yeah, we're dead. Dang, so close. Will we ever get past Platinum Tier 1? Let's find out in the next game of MTGA. Oh. That was fast. I'd say that's pretty good. Drop? No drop. Two drop. No two drop. There we go. Get him for two, baby. Creature non land card. So he's gonna make me discard that. I'd rather he discards this. I'll only get to use like the tiny last bits of it. There goes my graveyard. It's kind of cool, this. This card you have to fight, whatever. Because it's like whoever triumph, whoever's last on the field, you know? Take four to the face. Stop killing all my creatures!
poop. of dead is the thing that gets back things from the graveyard. has a snake around his neck, like he got back his snake. Okay, let's go. Well, he went. But I'm about to give some shit for lying. If I ever get a chance to do that. Uh oh. Oh, he just played everything. Ends of the earth. Two to the bottom, love to see it. All we have to do is play an enchantment. Oh, yeah, something with that. Please. Best be sacrificing your creature, son. Let's put it on. Let's put it on this guy. Sack it. Sack it. Sack it. Oh, I'm so sorry you had to sack it. <laughs> Ripping a rare off the top. Sometimes it happens to you, sometimes it doesn't. Uh. So he has to attack. He'll probably sack himself. Just swing with this anyway. Doesn't matter. That's it, son. color let's go yeah and Theros beyond death it seems like flying creatures are good 
creatures with big stats are good. Anything with like four or five power seems pretty good. Some of the enchantments are busted. And the rare power, like some of the rare cards are just absurd. Like this, what is this? This should be rare. Fine opening hand. Oh, I should have played the forest first. Get in for two. Don't bounce it. Don't bounce it. It's not worth it, bro. It's just two damage. Just take two damage. Alright. If that's what you want to do. is this? I'm just gonna take one. Huh? Could be that thing. It gives it like, uh, I don't know, something. Will play an enchantment. Yeah, let's just do that. Well, we're setting us up to play some really high cost cards if we can grab them. He just played a Kraken. He has one red mana. What can he do with one red mana? I'm confused. I'm about to find out, aren't I? Oh, me. Okay. We'll still win in the air with this, probably. And then we can use it to fight his bomb. I'll just take three. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you got in that hand, but I don't like it. Or we could just keep swinging in the air. <laughs> Let's do that. Three, three, three. So he could kill one. He'll tap it now, I think. No? Because... Yeah. Until I see who's attacking, it's not worth to tap, because... I could have... Well... Yeah, but then it would be like a waste. Well, he's gonna do it anyway. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So this is like a YOLO. If he has two more inferior eights, I lose. I'd say it's unlikely, but I mean, let's just do this, right? That's fine. We could use one and then I'll still win next turn. Okay, that's what he has. Very good.
good, very good. Oh, we can give two things flying. He's not gonna like that. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> All right. Okay. Three colors, baby. I'll keep. I think it's a it's a risk, but ah damn, it's a fucking risk. Looks like we're not playing any two drops or three drops. We are left fucked at a big disadvantage. He's probably going to remove this creature as soon as I play it. Do this and kill his. Yeah, let's do that. I'm actually totally fine with that. Get this out there and start slamming down five drops. Is that demigod? I could just gain some life. Nice. I just gained some life, dude. I guess. No. Stop it! Is this a demigod? Is this a god? Legendary enchantment? Legendary creature? To play this to just live. If that one life is gonna make a difference. This is what happens if you don't play a two drop or three drop. Oh rip. That sucks. He actually milled some really good cards. Uh yeah. He could actually, he could probably make me discard it, which would suck. Just gonna gain some life. Oof. Alright, let's see if we can keep playing this game. Do we have anything that can kill a flyer in here? No. Four twice. Fuck, we 
need our spider. <laughs> oh god, we're not gonna get it. Let's see. Three. 27, 24, 1 in 24 chance. I think it's our only thing that can block flyers. And we have to draw it literally right now. No, even if we draw it now. Oh! Okay, let's go. You ain't got one more damage. You ain't got it. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you get? You don't got it. You don't have it. Think I give a damn about one? No, that's not gonna do it. If he doesn't swing with both creatures. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Exiled his own creature. Okay. We risked it and it didn't pay off. Let's not risk it this one time. We already got six wins. The seventh win is always hard to get. I can live with this. Oh, these aren't even legendary. You can just play them. Well, you can play them if you get mana to play them. There's some mana. Cool looking planes. Well, he didn't play the white temple or enchantment or whatever it is. Might be a fast game. Why wouldn't he play it before and then block and kill that? Oh, he wants to block and kill this, but it has trample, bro. Don't even matter. Oh, he's digging right now, right here. Two to the top. Okay, let's go. But little does he know. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh, this is, this is bad for him. And I have a rare, just like a thing to play. What is that? That's so cool. Oh, you little shit. This 
is gonna be so funny. Do it like this, right? <laughs> oh no, we can't. Oh, let's just enter. Shit. I can't. Okay. What do we do? I can't even look at my graveyard. So there's two? What's this? Four of the cards. That's annoying. Uh, okay, alright. Uh, let's get this guy out. You gotta block, cause if you don't, I'll pump it again and kill you. <laughs> He's got a Wrath of God, maybe? But he's got so many cards. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. We'll take a look at the deck one more time before we collect these rewards so we can remember the, the lulls. We got this little chain webby dude. I think he pulled his weight, even though he betrayed us in the end and uh, sacrificed himself. Well, he sacrificed to make the blocks weird. I guess it was fine. This, it's okay, you know, dealing two damage to stuff, it's alright. Scrying is good. This card I think is broken. It's just absolutely insane. Whether or not you use its actual ability, 
doesn't come into play that often, but it's a 2-3 for 2. Uh, this guy is essential for this 3 color deck thing. Pretty cool. Yeah, just a good 2 drop. These wings really seal the deal. I, I, I knew big creatures plus wings is like... They fly in and... They're not supposed to have flying because they're so big, but they somehow do. Never used its unblockable thing, but we could have... Oh, we could have made it unblockable in the last one. But we didn't need to. Maybe that's why we didn't do it. I don't know. That makes sense, I guess. I mean, he had so many cards, you know. Had a lot of cards. These are good. They can be risky, though, as we saw. Because you have to do what it says. Um, this guy's, you know... I don't think we ever utilized it, but... So, some guy was afraid of of it enough to put on the bottom of our library. Good card triggers these guys, which did come into play. Uh, you know, I think we used this to get our island one time. This guy was good. One time we couldn't play it, but in general, very good. Giving things, big creatures flying is good. And plus one, plus one counters. I think this card's, like, quite decent. Uh, you know, if, you have, if you're playing with devotion-y stuff, which uh, mattered for this thing. Also, getting that one extra life, that was cool. Didn't end up mattering too much, but helped smooth up that one game where we only drew three land. This guy, he's just a good creature. You know, pumping and not for red mana, for just like any color, I think is pretty good. Uh, this card's ridiculous, just insane. Uh, she's really good, definitely a threat you have to deal with. Uh, it doesn't look like it when you look at it initially, but it's like every creature you play after her is super stronger, and she gets bigger in the power category, which when you can get everything trample is very good. Solid dude, if you can get the 7-7, seven, seven, even more solid. This guy's good. We never got to sacrifice the creature off this, but, you know, he, he can become evasive too, uh, you know, in a pinch if you need to. These are just too good. I don't. I rarely ever see one go around, but this time I saw like four or five. So I guess the bots weren't picking green. And this we just said YOLO, take it. Only we took two islands. Luckily we didn't get flooded with islands. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know we had enough mana sources and other colors that it was all good. And then eight and seven. So. Fun deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. These are my other picks. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take it easy.